All right. Hey travelers, Chris here with another review. Today we are in an autograph collection hotel. Specifically, we are in the Rice Hotel in Seoul, South Korea. So we're continuing to review hotels in South Korea. So if you haven't checked it out, we also looked at the Park Hyatt and we will also look at the Voco Hotel. So you'll probably see them on my channel. So let's see what you can get here. We are only here one night. So I just want to show you the room. The hotel itself, it's not crazy big, so there's not that much to review, but I want to show you what you get at the Rice Hotel, including black bathrobes. I don't think I've seen that much. They already give you the price with it, so <laughs> I guess they're really happy to sell these. They look nice. So what do you get in this hotel? Overall, I, I, I jokingly say that the Rice Hotel is a bit like a budget W hotel and it is part of the Marriott Bonvoy group and you can see why, right? You can see you have some more, you know, poppy colors, you have some more modern art, you have this uh, kind of cool looking boombox and uh, I really like this style, it feels very young and you can see here we're in the middle of Seoul, actually the district is called Hongdae, there's a lot of universities around, a lot of students, so it's a really nice area, even though it looks super cloudy today, it's actually quite warm. And you can see that it's fairly modern. Um, you have, of course, a comfy, yeah, slightly comfy, not super comfy bed. You have a lot of USB chargers, which is important, and more importantly, for whatever reason, you get the Rise and Shine face mask. So I feel like they're really focusing on more like the younger crowd, maybe the partying crowd. I like it. It's quite nice. You have some more USB plugs here. And you can also see that you can actually kind of look through to the bathroom. Now, one thing we noticed is that everything is very transparent and a lot of glass. So if you're wondering uh, how do you keep the toilet uh, private. There's actually kind of a kind of some blinds that you can draw down so you can still have some privacy here. Besides that you can see these big beauty mirrors and uh, two sinks which is nice. I, I kind of like this color. This is really something else. You don't see that a lot. What I don't like so much but it's a tiny point is you don't get any kind of branded um, soap lotion and also the shampoo and conditioner back here but at least it's refillable, so that's always a plus. And uh, the bathtub, it's fine. It has a bathtub, so that's already, I feel like, a plus, but you don't get a view. So if you actually look around here, there's a wall. So mm, it's fine. But other than that, this room is quite nice. It's not cheap, though, I have to say. So we're looking at around 200 to 300 US dollars per night. Um, maybe you can get it cheaper during some dates. We booked it actually with Marriott Bonvoy points. I think it was 45k for one night. Lastly, we have a <laughs> toilet, but I always like when they have the, um, these kind of bidet functions. It's more Japanese one. And it's really cute when you actually look at the bidet function. <laughs> you can see here, or not, <laughs> the, these little pictograms on them. and. Uh, it's just really cute. I like it. It's always a plus if they have that in general. Where's it going? I don't know. Yeah. So now that our camera is striking, it's fine. I think we have it covered. Uh, definitely nice. We're back. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's, it's quite, quite um, quirky. You also have... This is actually coming from the hotel. Looks a bit cheap, but uh, it's nice that you get some chips. They also gave us some vegetable chips for being a Marriott Bonvoy gold member. And you get this foldable, I think you can fold this into a game, which is interesting. I've not seen that before. They tell you via QR code what you can actually do with it. Apparently it's some Korean game that you can play. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. You of course get some water. It's a kind of a glass bottle. It looks refillable, maybe filter tap water, but it's good. And you get very funky looking, beautiful tea. By the way, coffee, you don't have a coffee machine, but you get this um, pour over coffee and there's a kettle. So it's not quite the same. It's not quite an espresso machine or anything nicer, but 
you have. Anyway, yes, as we can see, our camera is going haywire now, but definitely a nice room so far. Free Wi-Fi as well. Pretty much in the center of this Hongdae area. There's not that many hotels around here. So I think so far we're quite happy with it. And uh, yeah, I think that was it with a flash review. And uh, check out the other hotels we reviewed in Seoul. If that's applicable to you, we checked out, as I said, the Park Hyde and also the Voco Hotel, which is an IHG group hotel. So the group of Intercontinental and Co. So that's it from my side. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.